Tonight, Rhode Island remembers former Governor J. Joseph Garrahee. We learned this morning that the former governor passed away last night in Florida at the age of 81. That's right. He served as Rhode Island's governor from 1977 to 1985 and is perhaps best remembered for his leadership during that infamous blizzard of 78. He leaves behind a wife and five children. And today, the current governor, Lincoln Chafee, ordered all state and U.S. flags lowered to half staff across Rhode Island as he and other local leaders pay tribute to a man who left a lasting impression on our state. Eyewitness News reporter Sean Daly joins us live now from the State House with more on how Rhode Island is remembering Governor Garrahee. Rhode Island is in mourning tonight after a jolt of sadness echoed throughout the state this morning. Flags are at half staff now throughout the state, including here at the State House, remembering John Joseph Garrahee. Governor Gary was an extraordinary governor, a courageous leader, uh, but someone who combined an unimpeachable decency with a, a warm, embracing spirit. Uh, I don't think we'll ever see anyone like him again in terms of uh, a public leader with such a compassionate, caring heart and so effective. He knew where he wanted to go, but he made sure he got there with as much inclusion as possible. It was very, very important to him. We're going to do this together. Is there a lesson? for Rhode Island and for the country now to take from Joe Garrahy? I think the lesson is there's room for gentlemen in leadership positions and uh, Governor Garrahy was a gentleman but he was a strong leader. Everybody that knows or knew Joe Garrahy liked Joe Garrahy. You can't find many people that has a bad word to say about him. He was a kind and compassionate man. He was a strong family man. He didn't wear family values on his sleeve. He lived that way. A real decent man. And if you had to define him, he was just a decent man. He was a gentleman. He was honest. He was a great leader for Rhode Island. And we're going to miss him. I'm going to miss him personally because he was a good personal friend. And so it went all day long from everyone we tracked down. Joe Gare, he was remembered as an honest man, a decent man and a good leader for Rhode Island. We also tracked down his pastor down at St. Thomas More Church in Narragansett. You'll want to hear his thoughts as well. They're new at six. Live at the State House with the Providence Mobile Newsroom, Sean Daly, Eyewitness News. Today, Governor Garrahee's family released the following statement, quote, it is with profound sadness that we announced the passing of former governor, J. Joseph Garrahee. He loved his family dearly, and we were so proud to call him our husband, father, and poppy. He also loved the people of Rhode Island and worked tirelessly to improve the state and to provide assistance to those in need. The statement continues, quote, we thank Rhode Islanders for their continued outpouring of fondness over the years. He was very grateful for their warmth and friendship and for the opportunity to serve them. And we will be remembering the governor all evening right here on Eyewitness News. And you can also find extended coverage on our website, WPRI.com. Log on now for a retrospective look at the governor's life and career, a photo gallery, and an opportunity to leave your condolences for Governor Garrahee and his family.